multi-tools. Most of us carry them, but are you getting the most out of yours? Are they falling short or is it just because you don't know about these hacks? Don't go anywhere. The compact size of a multi-tool is both a blessing and a curse, I guess, because its small proportions mean you can fit it into a pocket or a bag really easily. But when it's small, it can be hard to get decent leverage on something that's perhaps a little seized or maybe over torqued. So for example, taking out a pedal, this might be a little bit too stubby on its own to leverage that pedal out. However, if you get your axle out of the rear or the front, then you can attach that to part of the opposite side of your multi-tool and get some added leverage to pull that out. Now, in order for this to work, you want the hex key on one side that you need to use. So for me, it's this eight mil for my pedal. So you'll need something on the opposite side to fit your axle onto. So for this, it's a 5 mil. Now, luckily, I have a PT30 uh, Topeak multi-tool here where all of the body of the Phillips head screwdrivers and the Torx keys are actually a 5 mil hex key. So I can fit my 5 mil axle onto all of that side to get extra leverage for all the Allen keys on this side, which is great. Uh, if yours isn't like that, you might need to switch between perhaps your front or even your friend's axle to make sure that the combination works. Larger multi-tools like this are pretty kitted out these days with almost every tool you will need to fix your bike out on the trail. However, if you've gone for something a bit more minimal, perhaps you've only got a few hex keys on your multi-tool and you come across something that you need to tighten up or undo on your bike and you seem to be missing that size, sometimes you can put two Allen keys together in order to make the correct size. So for example, if you're trying to do up or undo your pedal and you need an eight millimeter and you don't have one like I do on mine, then you can put a five and a three together, for example. Now this does work better if you have single Allen keys that you can line up nice and straight, or you can borrow your friend's Allen keys to make this work. Alternatively, ratchet sets like this with the little sockets might be easier to get into the hole. If you want to tighten or loosen your valve core and perhaps fingers just aren't cutting it, then a lot of multi-tools will actually have valve core tighteners on them. Uh, you may even have a valve key on the actual dust cover of your valves, like with PTs. Uh, but if your Allen key doesn't have that and you don't have one of those dust keys, sometimes you can get a spoke key to work. It has to be quite a large one. Alternatively, you can actually pull out two keys with one missing in the center to create a big enough gap to slot that over your core and if you just hold them tight on the opposite side, so you can kind of get a bit of a pincer movement and they will work a bit like pliers to get the strength to open or tighten that. And if after a long ride, you've stopped for a little drink and it's in a bottle and your multi-tool doesn't come with a bottle opener, well, don't worry. Every multi-tool is a bottle opener. All you have to do is get one of your arms out, hopefully something a bit flat like this uh, tubeless plug inserter, and get your thumb really close to the top of the neck, put it on a sturdy surface and use that multi-tool to lever the cap off. Woo! Hmm, simple as that. <laughs> But seriously though, a compact multi-tool is a seriously useful bit of kit that you should be taking out on every ride. Uh, but even better than that is a bigger multi-tool with all of the functions that you actually might need out on the trail. 
I'm talking a chain breaking device, uh, maybe even a tubeless puncture repair plug. Things like that could save you from a really long walk back home from the woods. Uh, but perhaps I've missed out a hack, perhaps you know something. Uh, let me know down in the comments below and share it with the GMBN community. And uh, I'll catch you for another hacks video in the future. Thanks for watching.